absent, absent everywhere. <laughs> Follow me for the best absent in Prague. I'll take you places you never dreamt of. Tohle není absent. Tohle určitě nebude, že? Takovou barvu prostě přirozeně nezískáš. Jako první indicie je ta barva, že? Listerin takhle vypadá. No, anebo zelená, že? Jo? <laughs> <laughs> None of this is actually absent, or is it? Well, here's the problem. There is no rule, no law, no regulation whatsoever that would define in this country or European Union what absent is. So if by an accident you piss green and you put it in a bottle, you can label it absent. And tourists in Prague will buy it here at these stores. Hello and welcome to Czechia. Most foreign tourists that will come to Prague will see absinthe eventually somewhere, usually in these mini markets. And many of the foreign tourists think these three things. Number one, that uh, drinking absinthe will make them hallucinate. Number two, that it is illegal to buy absinthe in most of the world, but for some reason it's legal here in the Czech Republic. And number three, that it is cheap here in the Czech Republic. Neither of these three things is true. And on top of that, most of the stuff is not real absinthe, but we'll get to that. Absinthe will not make you hallucinate. Uh, back in the days, it might have because they were adding a chemical that nowadays we don't put in alcohol, but we put in our swimming pools to make them cleaner. Sorry, it was a myth. Absinthe is illegal. No, it's actually not. It's uh, legal in most of the world. It was back in the days in some countries and it was still legal here. That may be where the myth was born, but yeah, you can buy it pretty much anywhere. In Czechia, absinthe is cheap. Everything's cheap in Czechia. No, it's actually not. It's extremely expensive in these mini markets. Everything in these mini markets is ridiculously expensive. A tiny shot of absinthe that is actually not absinthe uh, goes for around 20 euros. Uh, for that, you can buy actual very good quality absinthe. If a foreign tourist takes a walk through our city, they must think that the only thing we do is smoke weed, drink absinthe, and eat prdel mix. And we don't. <laughs> Just like cannabis in downtown Prague, don't think of absinthe as a product. It's more of a marketing thing that will lure you in because it attaches to it something mysterious, right? Something special for you. But no, behind it, there's nothing. It's just a marketing name. And the name Absent has more issues than you can imagine. The word Absent defines absolutely nothing in our country. Yes, uh, I was joking with the P in the beginning, but if these bottles would contain just water that was colored green, you can still write absent on it. There's no rules, no laws, no regulations in the entire European Union, not only our country, except for one country in Europe, and that is Switzerland. They do have rules that define what absent is and how is it made. And the Swiss actually wanted to implement this rule into the European Union. But one country, uh, specifically the Czechia, said, no, 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 we don't want that. We don't want people to know what's behind absent. It can be whatever, you know? No, ketchup, you know, yeah, there has to be tomatoes. And champagne, yeah, it has to be made in champagne. But absent, no. Let's, you know, the silly tourists, they don't even care. To make this video more trustworthy and make our message more legit, we invited an expert, and that's our friend Kuba. Hi. Hey. Uh, his title is this, which I just couldn't remember. Uh, I'm an American tourist, or they might be, or a foreign tourist. They yeah. come to Prague, they see absinthe everywhere. Yeah. Uh, is there fake absinthe being sold in these stores? Most of it. Most of it. Yeah. Am I, as a tourist, able to spot what is the real or fake one? Uh, well, it's not really uh, easy. Okay. It's not easy for a uh, Czech person who understand it. No, you have no no clue how to do it. What's the what's the thing to look for on the bottle to to spot the fake one? Yeah, if you want to spot the fake one, uh, it shouldn't have flavorings and colorings in it. So okay. if it if the label says some colorings and and sugar sugar, uh, then it's not the real deal. Okay. So what, what is in the bottle? 
I mean, what can be in the bottle legally if it says absinthe? Well, if it says absinthe, whatever. It's some kind of spirit. There is no no measure, not, right. nothing, no rules around it. No, so my question is, like, what can I do to know if it's absinthe? If it's absinthe or not. You have to turn it on the etiquette. Yes. The rule and start smelling. Když tady aroma a cukr, tak to absint nebude, protože ten by to obsahovat prostě neměl. Dobře, takže já si otočím etiketu, najdu tady cukr, tak to už taky není, jo? A aroma a barvy, když tady jsou. Absint není doslazený a barvu má z přírodních složek, čili prostě kouze z bylin. A tady to už je lepší, ale fot barvivo. Tady taky. A co je anízové aroma? To je aníz nebo ne? To je aroma, anízové. <laughs> yes. jako, Vodně ta chutná jako aníz to bude, jo. ale aníz, aníz to nevidělo. Nevidělo. Aníz to není, jo. Někdy... Aníz to nevidělo. Hle, a co je glycerin? A cukr. Jo, aha, dobře. <laughs> a barviva. Já si myslím, tady teda nevidíme žádný, a možná tady nahoře, i když tomu říkají panenský, co? Byli nádrť, to jsem ještě nevěděl. Tohle to teoreticky by se asi dalo nazvat absintem, i když je to teda hmm. rozhodně to není dobarvený. Je to takový dlouho, dlouho malý čaj. <laughs> a jo, a tady jsou ještě malý. A to je třeba červený absint, tak to asi nebude rovnou, protože tam musí být barvy. No, Zbělně červenou barvu to není nevypotíž. Modrou teoreticky ještě z klitorie vypotíž, ale určitě ne takhle modrou. Aha, aha. A vzhledem k tomu, že tady ani jako vlastně ten popis jako není, tak to složení není. Což je teda úplně super vtipný. Takže tady není nic vlastně napsaný. Jo, jo, tohle to je třeba jako na pokrajinskou inspekci. Jo, ne, tak to zase nechceme jít tak daleko. Tak aby to... <laughs> Měl by tam být teda popisek, co v tom je, a to vlastně není. Tak, tak. A tady je třeba červený absint za 450 korun. Je to hodně? Je to dost? To si myslím, že za to se kupují absinty starý, jako možná starší než my. Jo, a je tady ale teda napsáno, že v tom je cukr a barvivo, takže to není absint. Není, no, tak může se na to napsat cokoliv, že? Jasně. Ale u tohohle toho je, je těžko jako říct, jestli to budeš absint nebo zelený. Se zkoupálem to by tady člověk pohledal. Jo, to je z malorky. <laughs> no, a tak... To ti dokládá, že teda jako uh, ta legislativa není dojebaná jen u nás, že ano? A tady není český nic na tom, tam to můžeme? Nemůže, tady to je, to musí být dolepený. Thank you so much. Thanks. Expert man. <laughs> That's what we need for this show. <laughs> Now since we call ourselves guides, honest guides, we should give you a recommendation where to go in Prague to have absent. Well, here's the problem. We never had it. I mean, I had it once in my life with a friend of mine who makes it. So we were drinking from that water fountain, dripping into the shot of absinthe. And then when I took my first sip of it, I screamed out, well, that tastes exactly like hašlerky, which are uh, these Czech candies that are traditional and it has the same herb in it, except no alcohol. So uh, if you want to get something traditional in Prague that we locals like, get a hašlerka. I already have one. If you eat the whole bag, it will make you hallucinate. Never take candy from <laughs> strangers. <laughs> Do you know what is absinthe? Oh, well, have a have a hashlerka. Have a hashlerka. What is it? It's like absinthe, but much better. What is absinthe? Ah, <laughs> have a good one. Bye bye. And now you're a little more ready for your upcoming trip to Prague. Looking forward to see you here. Check out more videos of the Honest Guide, and I'll see you next week because we make a new video every week. Ahoy. And in the end, I'm going to teach you a Czech word, and that is how to say fairy. Uh, so the Czech word for that is víla. Víla is fairy. And you can see one on a painting uh, in one of the Czech coffee places that I guess was a place where you would drink absinthe. So there is a víla on the wall.